done a lot just across the restaurant industry, now development, and then starting Jumpstart Germantown, but you were also, uh, what, uh, you also worked for Happy for a while as her chief of staff as well. So we can talk about Jumpstart, we can talk about all that, but let's talk about you in general and where you kind of got your start. So you started working with Happy after school or were you already in the real estate space? No, I grew up in central Jersey, went okay. to school, the University of Delaware, yep. and took a semester off while I was at Delaware to come to the Philadelphia area to work for Joe Huffle, who was running for Congress in 1984. Okay. Uh, then when I graduated, I worked full time for Joe, uh, proceeded to do six more campaigns uh, professionally, and then ended up as uh, chief of staff for Councilwoman Happy Fernandez in the early 90s. Got it, got it, got it. So then from there, how did you end up starting Trolley Car and all these different restaurants around the city? Which is Yeah, well, oh, I wow. uh, <laughs> threw caution to the wind, as they say, <laughs> uh, by leaving City Hall and deciding to open up my first restaurant, Cresham Cottage Cafe, uh, in 1996. Wow. Uh, they thought I was nuts in City Hall because nobody walks away from uh, <laughs> a, a pension and a job for life. Yep. Uh, nice but that's exactly job. what I needed to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that that's been a staple, but also trolley car was a staple as Julian just walked in. And, you know, a lot of folks in Germantown, no trolley car so well. Growing up, I used to go there, you know, for breakfast or whatever with the family. Um, then you started that and it just kind of built into, you know, hey, I'm I'm a restaurateur almost. Yeah, I was in the restaurant business for 25 years before getting out a year and a half ago. Uh, but we had Cresham Cottage Cafe, which was fine dining in Mount Airy. Uh, in uh, for nine years, and then we had Trolley Car Diner for 19 years. We had Trolley Car Cafe in East Falls for 11 years, yep. and we had uh, Trolley Car Station in West Philly. Oh, yeah, it's Trolley Car Station, too. Jeez. So you did the gamut, and then you decided, hey, let me decide to hop over and get into this other industry, too. How's that happen? It's an interesting pivot. Throw a caution well, actually again. <laughs> I've actually been in real estate development for 35 years now. So wow. I started while I was working on political campaigns in the late 80s okay. and just fell in love with the idea of taking vacant, deteriorated, blighted buildings and making something better out of them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the first one? What what was like the start? And I think that's the hard part for a lot of entrepreneurs, right? Is, I mean, I'm in real estate, been doing it a long time, but it's always that first property that's the hardest. Um, exactly. You know? So as I say to my Jumpstart uh, graduates, uh, sourcing properties is by far the most difficult part of real estate development. Uh, I would I searched for over a year for my first property in the late 80s and happened upon uh, owner of a single family house in East Mount area at 73 Spillalina Street. Oh, wow. And uh, he said, oh, I'm selling my house. You want to uh, come take a look at it? And I said, sure. And oh, the rest is history. I love it. I love it. So I have a client right now who did exactly the same thing. We've been searching forever. And then we just found an East Mount Airy off market, nice duplex, needs a little love, but I'm I'm telling her the same thing. You just got to get that first one. You just got to get that first one. And then the sky's the limit. Keep going. You know. Yeah, and you're absolutely right, John, because the second and third properties, which happen to be in Germantown on Knox Street and Green Street. Uh, came very quickly after the first one because you get that confidence. Yep. You get that first property under your belt and you're ready to go. I love it. I love it. So now you're helping folks with Jumpstart Germantown. How long has Jumpstart been around? We started Jumpstart Germantown eight years ago and it started as a project to try to help local residents improve their own community. Yep. Um, so I had a lot of folks come to me 
um, and say, hey, want I want to get into the industry like you're in the industry. How do I do that? Well, it was starting to get hot and heavy and I would sit down with people for an hour, but it wasn't really helping them. Right. I said, what happens if I start saying no to folks uh, right. for one on one meetings and instead put together a curriculum to try to give people 16 hours of training and then give them a mentor give them networking opportunities and give them financing uh, okay. after they graduate. And that's exactly what we did. Uh, we now have 15 jumpstart programs around the country and around our city. Uh, we have loaned out, we have over 2,500 graduates to date, and we have now loaned out more than $40 million to help them get started uh, with improving their own neighborhood. Wow. And so it's it's wild to say, I don't know you or I am just getting to know you, but a lot of my friends have started in Jumpstart Germantown and either bought their first or second or whatever property. And now some of them are huge real estate investors, developers, the gamut, um, and literally grown their career into just being true real estate entrepreneurs from, hey, Jumpstart Germantown helped me out with that first property. And I know, like, I don't, I mean, that's the hardest piece is like finding that initial investment, figuring out how to source the funds, where to get the money, and then where to go next to get the property. Right. Um, I love that you guys kind of found a way to source all of that in one nice little package. That's cool. That's really, I, John, we've had yeah. uh, dozens and I should say hundreds of success stories. Yeah. Um, the ones you just mentioned. Um, and I'm very proud of that, that we're helping new people get involved. We're also helping to diversify the industry. More than 90% of our graduates are women or people of color who have historically not been able to get into real estate development right. in the past. Right. Um, so by training them up um, and then lending them money for their first, second, third projects, they then become very bankable. They then have the experience they need to step forward and, uh, and, and, and keep going. And a lot of our graduates have turned around and become mentors in the Jumpstart programs. Which is cool. And that, now I'm like, maybe I need to just take Jumpstart and, <laughs> and work on the next property or whatever it may be. Yes, 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 you do. Look, hey, I'm, I'm signing up. I'm signing up. It's official. It's official. Julian, you're coming too. Absolutely. <laughs> Next property. So Julian and I were just talking about him purchasing his first property and, you know, the the need for him to have a couple of years worth of income and, you know, steady job, all that good stuff. Um, from an investor standpoint, it's a little bit different, right? But how do you guys kind of leverage, I guess, your position? Um, with folks getting that first property. I know I've heard a lot of like different things on you guys, like helping people with that first home or whatever it may be, um, or helping with, you know, financing, all those things. Like how does some of that work through you guys? Um, we offer 85% loan to cost financing, which is a good deal higher than conventional yeah. lenders. Uh, yeah. We're hard money lenders. So we can act very quickly. We can give folks approval even within three to five days right. uh, so that they can act like cash buyers. Yep. Um, but it's also important to help them uh, understand the industry and understand what we call the seven jump steps of real estate development to okay. keep them going. I didn't have this kind of training when yep. I started 35 years ago. And therefore made a lot of initial mistakes that we're hoping to help jumpstarters uh, avoid in the future. Which is cool, which is cool. They get to learn through you. Um, your wisdom, I feel like 35 years in now, that's cool. That's really hard, cool. hard, hard to believe, but I did it part-time for uh, 17 years before going full-time, okay. uh, which is a great uh, path to follow. I mean, some people, some of our jump starters have already quit their day jobs and gone full time. And then some of them will love what they do during the day and will just do this evenings and weekends. 
part time, but it's it's still I I mean I truly believe I think real estate is one of the greatest investments you can make over time, and I mean you're a testament to that. Over time, you can decide to go either way, or you've got an investment over time that you can pass down to your kids or whatever. But building up these communities is huge. Um, and creating wealth local is also a way of improving communities with keep while keeping gentrification at bay. Because if we can create wealth within the community, then you're more likely to spend uh, that money within the community. Yep, yep. I remember in 2008, we were always talking about the black spend is going to become a trillion plus dollars at a certain point in time. Now we're there. And it's like, where are we putting the funds? Like, let's let's pour back in. Um, and I love that you're doing that. So now you're developing around Germantown in a major way. Um, and what's next, I guess? I know we don't have a lot of time, but I want to I want to know your vision for where are you guys going next? How is that Wayne Junction corridor building? What do you guys have planned? Um, would love to know more about what the picture looks like for you. Well, first of all, in terms of uh, Jumpstart, yep. uh, we recently hired a national organizer. So we're hoping to take the 15 current Jumpstart programs around the country and double that number by the end of this year. So wow. I'm very excited about where Jumpstart is going. It's all open source. Folks yep. who want to start their own Jumpstart program can go to gojumpstart.org. And we have a how-to guide. We can give you assistance and help you get started with your own program. In terms of what we do here at Philly Office Retail, um, we're continuing with our uh, reinvestment efforts in Mount Airy and Germantown. And you mentioned Wayne Junction, and that's uh, clearly been our biggest emphasis over the last couple of years. Uh, we are in the process of improving 15 buildings and lots in a small, fairly small Wayne Junction area. So right. we just broke ground uh, last week, for example, on a historic property at 147 Berkeley Street called Argudo Oilist Bearing Company. We're gonna make it into a cafe and office space. Uh, we are finalizing plans to do new construction across from the station. 143 apartments and the Wayne Junction Diner on the first floor. Um, and then we have a couple other projects uh, coming up, but we're also looking at where do we go from here? Like you said, uh, we're looking at the city of Reading right now. Uh, I'm working on um, with SEPTA and Amtrak at uh, getting long-term leases and improving seven more train stations. We've already done three. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of projects, a lot of moving parts. We're always looking for that next great project. That's exciting. So you've moved out. Where are the other jump starts now? As you guys, it's almost like franchising it out, essentially. Um, where else are you guys located outside of Philly? Uh, outside of Philly, uh, Jumpstart Wilmington, Jumpstart Norristown, Coatesville, Pottstown, Harrisburg, Indianapolis. Oh, wow. Um, I know I'm missing some. I know Clearwater, Florida is working on it. Waco, Texas That's is in true. process. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's a whole bunch. Right, right. So my folks who are outside of Philly, um, that's exciting that they can, you know, go somewhere to look. I know people get excited about the program just in general, but they're, po they're folks investing in Florida, I mean, Florida especially, but Atlanta or whatever it may be, like, hey, come get the jump start down near you too. Let's make it happen. I love that. I love that. Um, so last but not least, we know your time is limited, but I definitely want to know if you had any advice for those folks who are starting or just at the beginning of their entrepreneurial journey, thinking about investing, what would you say, besides joining Jumpstart Germantown, um, they should use as a resource or check out or learn more about? Yeah, um, there's a lot of resources out there, including your podcasts and a number of other podcasts out there. Yep. Uh, there's a Facebook page, for example, called Landlords Connect okay. um, that has their own podcast. Yep. Uh, Cheryl Sitman 
Um, there's groups like uh, Better Than Success, yeah. Bigger Pockets, yeah. Diversified Investment Group, HAPCO, Homeowners Association of Philadelphia County. So yeah. a lot of good groups out there. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, all this is good. All this information is good. People should continue to learn. They should be sponges. Yeah. Um, but you got to get it done. We have yeah. a uh, sign, large sign on our wall here at Philly Office Retail that says, get shit done. Yeah. And that's what we do every day. And that's what that's what separates good developers from um, so-so developers. You've right. got to get it done every day. It's on you. No one else is going to do it for you. Right. I love that. And I think the scary part is we're all, or the scary part for most investors is failing, right? Like you're gonna, you're, you're gonna kind of uh, get dirty in this, like you said, or you're going to eat shit on a deal or two. It, it is what it is. You got to get back up and get shit done. Move to the That's night. That's right. You know? That's right. So yeah, you're going to make mistakes. You may lose money on a project or two before uh, you figure it out. Yep. Um, as I tell my jump starters, I, um, for several years, I used to mentor NFL players through uh, Warden. Okay. And, uh, you know, even though they have larger bank accounts, yeah. they should start. And I used to tell them this. They should start the same way my jump starters who have fifteen thousand dollars in the bank yeah. should start by renovating a single family house, screwing up, make yeah. mistakes, maybe lose money. And then move on to your next project and do better. That's funny. So I have, I have a, um, I have one, uh, I have one NFL uh, client right now who is doing exactly that, and he's going. I really want to buy this big property, and I'm going. Eh, are you sure? <laughs> Let's buy something in North Philly or, you know, Germantown or like, you know, um, so that's great advice. I'm going to use this video for him. Yeah, abs absolutely. I feel very strongly about that. I love that. That's love where that. people should start. That's where I started. Yep. And they can get into multifamily. They can get into commercial. They can get yep. into a lot of areas, but yep. start small, make your mistakes small and then move on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I love that and grow and grow, continue to grow and don't stop. Cool. Cool. Um, any other advice before we leave out? Um, I truly appreciate you jumping on. Um, wanted to keep it short and sweet, but um, definitely wanted to make sure we connected folks to you and jumpstart Germantown. Um, I've seen so many folks flourish through the program that, you know, hey, you guys are doing great work. That's great. I appreciate that, John. Uh, I love what we're doing. I love the energy that Jumpstarters bring to real estate development. Uh, we just started uh, yet another Jumpstart Germantown class this week with 70 people. Uh, first time we've been in person in three years. So that's been interesting and yeah. <laughs> I have to readjust to that. Uh, but I love the energy in the room. I love the enthusiasm that Jumpstarters bring to real estate development. And I'm excited about their future. Right, right. So one more time, can you give us where to go to sign up for the next class? And when will the next one, if we miss this one, be? Uh, next class, we do it twice a year right now. Next class will be uh, in September, October. Okay. Um, jumpstartgermantown.com. Uh, folks can also go to jumpstartphilly.com, which okay. will give you a list of other neighborhoods uh, in Philadelphia, where Jumpstart programs exist. Uh, Kensington, uh, Jumpstart Philly Northwest, uh, I'm sorry, North Philly West, which is okay. Strawberry Mansion and Brewery Town. Yep. Uh, Tioga is very active, Southwest, West. Okay. Uh, so folks can go to jumpstartphilly.com. And both graduates and not graduates alike are welcome to use our loan program, uh, which can be accessed through cool. jumpstartphilly.com. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. So I'm, I'm signing up. I'll be in the fall class. Excellent. I'll be, I'll be there. Look forward to it. Um, 
and I've seen some of your mentors do podcasting too. So I'll uh, I'll be there for that as well. I love it. Well, thank you, Ken. We truly appreciate it. And um, hey, that sessions, we appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for having me, John. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take care.